All right, sticking with investigations. Four, four days. Four days. And you remember this whole FISA, Spygate stuff, right? That's still, that's still a thing. You don't hear about it that much anymore. But four days before securing the FISA warrant, going after the Trump campaign, specifically Carter Page. The FBI, senior leadership there, was alerted to the fact that basically Carter Page shouldn't, there shouldn't have been a FISA warrant for Carter Page. There's a text message that was sent in October, October 17th from an FBI play, uh, employee who turned out to be Peter Strzok. Remember him? Yeah. Former deputy assistant director. He was leading Crossfire Hurricane. And the message basically provides the most, and this, this was from Solomon and, and some other folks too who reported this, the most clear evidence to date that FBI leadership knew about the factual discrepancy in the FISA warrant before they got it approved. And then, of course, did not tell the judges. So there's new text messages that have come into question that basically say that he denied ever knowing, that Page denied ever knowing this Russian security dude, Devakin, however you say his name. So FBI leadership all the way up to Peter Strzok got this information before. They're thinking, hey, let's get a FISA warrant. It's a long process. It's a hard process, or it should be. It became easier when they wanted to go after the Trump campaign and when you have senior leadership working on it. But let's go after Carter Page. Give us all the information. Hold up, sir. Hold up. This proves right here that what we think about him is not true. But rather than say at that point, uh, all right, we shouldn't abuse the FISA system, which is reserved for the most sensitive of cases. They said, no, let's go ahead. Charge ahead. Why not? We've got a goal. We've got an end that we want to get to. And we're going to do it. So again, I mean, this is the first, there's lots of speculation, and we kind of knew this to be true, but now we've got the first text messages that provide public, clear evidence that senior leadership at the Bureau, which has no credibility anymore, sadly, for this country, for the brave men and women who work there and aren't a part of leadership and aren't a part of this highly politicized organization, but that these leaders knew before they submitted the application. And it's just, to me, it's, it's so sad. It's so sad how politicized, they, I know we talk about it all the time, but it's so sad how politicized these organizations got through the Obama administration and beyond. And you know, some of the carryover that was there. We, we're at the point where so many things we cannot trust anymore as Americans. Some of you never did. Some of you trusted some, not all. But now if you trust a lot of these institutions, a lot of what you always just relied on is truth, You've kind of you've kind of missed the boat. I mean, our agencies have lost so much credibility, including ones I've worked at. It's depressing because I know there's good things happening there. I know there's good people there, but the poison has been inserted, and it's you know it's like how far has it spread, and is this thing recoverable? Can we can we fix this? Don't know. The bureau in particular, don't know if you can, but the agency too, the agency too. So they've lost credibility. Our media, if you still think the media has credibility, you're not very smart. You're not paying attention. There's no trust. You can't trust anything that these, these hacks in the mainstream media say. Publishers, you know, the New York Times, Washington Post, Fox News, CNN, MSNBC, all of them. It's a game. It's a game to them. You guys are the pieces on the board. I am too. We all are. So you can't trust that. And now this year, you fast forward to 2020, because why not just add more to it? You can't trust what's coming out about the, the pandemic. There's multiple narratives about it. You're starting, everyone kind of knows what they think now. So you, but you can't trust all the information on it. And then you can't trust our elections now because there's concerns about it. And yes, YouTube, I get it. I'm not, I'm not making my stance here. I'll do that in the segment after the, after the YouTube version of the show. But America has questions about it, whether you think this or I think this or whoever thinks what, it doesn't matter. There's questions, and everyone has kind of lost trust in the whole system that we've been operating in and living in for so long. Hopefully you trust yourself, hopefully you trust God, hopefully you trust your family, but you can't trust a whole lot more than that. It's crazy. It's crazy. I don't know what will happen with this. Probably nothing. It'll get buried. These texts will go nowhere. Certainly you're not going to see CNN, MSNBC, and, and the other networks talking about it today. 
maybe there's something on Fox, but they won't they won't dig into it and they won't expound upon it. Tucker might and Sean might and uh, and Laura might, but this thing's come about. The Hunter investigation comes about and no one wants to talk about it. It's just you don't get the truth anymore. So I appreciate you guys who always come here to this show. You appreciate you going to the other shows out there who are willing to just say, here, here's the deal. This is what's happening. I don't necessarily have all the answers, but here's what's happening. Think for yourself, do your own research. only proper way to adjust your set. Yeah. Underwear for men. Set them once and done for all day comfort. <laughs> <laughs>